Earth is often referred to as a Goldilocks planet because just like Porridge and Goldilocks, it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Earth is in just the right location and it's just the right size for life to thrive. Astrobiology is the study of life in space. We've all seen aliens from outer space in the movies, but is this really what life might look like on other planets? Probably not. It could be in the form of simple bacteria or even advanced human-like beings. One of the most important parts of astrobiology is studying Earth, because if we can understand how there is life on Earth, we may be able to grasp a better understanding for how life might form on other planets. Life on Earth is believed to have descended from a single microbe about 4 billion years ago. It is believed that the first signs of life were formed when Earth itself was being created. A combination of chemicals and energy in the perfect conditions of hydrothermal vents are believed to have created what is necessary for life. Another theory is that life came from space during the creation of Earth. We do know that life on Earth is mainly made up of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. But the main substances that astrobiologists look for when searching for life on other planets are carbon and water. One of the largest astrobiology studies currently is the search for life on Mars. Mars is further from the Sun than Earth and is a thin atmosphere, but is believed that liquid water still exists beneath the surface of Mars as the temperatures there would be warmer than on that surface. If this liquid water is found, it could lead us to life. The search for life on other planets continues. There is still so much to be discovered in the field of astrobiology, and it is very exciting what the future might bring us.